What's everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets Radio. I'm very late with this video. Unfortunately, I worked and had a lot of things going on tonight. Um, Craig Carton reporting that the New York Jets will indeed fire Adam Gase end of the season. Thank goodness. This should be no surprise. He's the worst coach in football. He's failed the organization on and off the field. The team's handling of this is mind-numbing. It can give you a legitimate headache. If you know you're going to fire the coach, why do you keep him in the building? Why do you let him keep winning? Let him open the playbook. Let him ruin your chances as number one pick. I mean, this organization, from ownership in the front office, I, I have more questions than answers with them because you don't really understand how they handle injuries, the coach, this tank, this season. But nonetheless, he's gone, and that's a good thing. So then they, it quickly moves to Joe Douglas and the head coach search and who they want. There's already a lot of ties to Martindale and Baltimore. There's some rumblings about Peterson in Philadelphia if he's gone. I mean, this had a comprehensive search. And what the most important thing is, is let the football guys make football decisions. Let this front office, which is highly talented, has four more years here, find their guy. I mean, this, this is what you have to do. You have to get everybody on the same page. The last thing you do is want to have Woody Johnson step in and say, you know what, this is the coach I want. And then a year from now, you fire Joe Douglas, and then you have this, this prearranged marriage game, which is backwards, which we had with Casey McCagnan. Then you fire McCagnan. You, you know, it's like all this shit. Get everybody on the same page. One vision, one goal, one blueprint. All agree on the quarterback. All agree on what their plan is going forward. And finally, be a, a competent organization. Do I think it's going to happen? Not necessarily. I, I just, a lot of this remains to be seen. You know, does Woody Johnson come back? How does he handle it? What does Chris Johnson do? What is Joe Douglas's view of the quarterback? What is the hierarchy? Who has final say on personnel? Who has final say on the roster? What will an incoming coach want, and how does that impact Joe Douglas? If Matt Campbell says, listen, I'll come and coach here, but I want a bigger say in personnel, how did the Jets handle that? Do they say, no, we trust Joe Douglas to do this? A lot of things need to be worked out, um, and it'll be interesting to see what they do. Like I Honestly, my my preference still remains Bill Cowher. I, don't think, I think that's a pipe dream now. I think it's completely gone. Now Trevor Lawrence is in here. There's, there's rumblings that maybe Sean Payton could be available if Drew Brees retires and everything else. I mean, I would trade for him. I would definitely make that move. I think he's that good. But those are kind of like fantasy land moves. Um, then you wonder, you know, how how marketable is that Jacksonville job now where they have cap space, number one pick, which is Trevor Lawrence? Would a coach want to go coach Justin Herbert? Would he want to coach Deshaun Watson? Or does he want to deal with either Darnold, Wilson, Justin Fields? So there's, there's a lot of unknowns with his coaching search. Um, and the other thing is, will the Jets pay? And will they make a long-term commitment to a coach? Because I think a lot of people now, after the Matt Rule contract, are going to want that six-year deal. They're going to want big-time money and a big-time commitment, especially coming to a Jets team that has a terrible stigma around there, where it's a losing culture, losing organization. You know, you got, your quarterback's a complete unknown. You're not really sure what you're going to do there. So a lot of questions, man. A lot of questions. But the biggest thing is, Gase is gone. That is a big news that is important. Finally, it's been two years of hell. We can all breathe a sigh of relief going into the new year. And, and the other thing, I think if there's one thing to worry about is that in this last game, with Gase, with Gase coaching, it's kind of stupid, is get Sam Darnold out of this game healthy. I mean, the last thing you want to do is have him injured or you know just playing terribly, all this stuff. This is his last game. Get him off the field healthy. If you want to trade him, that's good. If you want to keep him next year and try to build around him, that's good as well. But keep this kid healthy. I still want to see Morgan play. I want to see Cameron Clark play. Let everybody on this roster get a chance to play in this last week of the season because this is your evaluation time. Case, I mean, there's no more secret that Case is being fired, so let them all play. Everybody play. We need tape on these guys. To hide Morgan is no reason. Even a half. Who cares? That you're not playing for a win here. Like, this is uh, the, the, you know, the cats, the, the haze out of the barn. Where the fuck that cliche is. So let all the kids play on Sunday. Let's get some tape on the guys we haven't seen yet. Like Zuniga should see a lot of time. Everybody play as much as possible. All the young guys. The guys that you know for sure are not going to be here next year. The Henry Andersons. Give them their first quarter. Say, you know what? Take the rest of the game off. Because you want to stay healthy too. Like a lot of these veterans that know they aren't going to be here next year. They want to get this last game healthy as well. Because they're playing for a contract. They put their, team in, their, tape, their, uh, their time in. They have their tape out there. So let them go off the field too. Get all of your young guys. All their pieces. As much time to play. So you have film to evaluate in the offseason, especially the new coach. Say, so here, here's what we have in Gidry. Here's what we have in Zuniga and Clark. And here's all these guys. And see what happens. So 
Good news. Sorry the video is late. And uh, we'll talk to you Friday night. We're doing Ohio State Clemson. And then we'll live stream the last game of the season on Sunday. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you and your families. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for all the support. We greatly appreciate it.